I envision myself using the occult tarot because this is a dark fucking day. I've had hours since I posted the bystander effect, effect video. Time to evict all the emotions out of my system that are not mine so that I can do what I do best, which is represent and embody my core. My core consisting of the likes of many rebellious people like the man I wear on my shirt and his counterpart, Tupac. A man who was very political in nature yet chose to do it in a cool way. And as I have chosen to be political in a cool way, I'm best able to divine my politics. See, I am a politician. I wear a cloak. My cloak has always been first and foremost the cloak of divinity. So when Courtney plays games where she shouldn't fucking play games, this is where the hard ball becomes kicked around. Her energy is scared. Let's do a personal reading on Courtney. What a great idea. I will personally unveil you even though you did a great job massacring your name for me as Thane number two. Thane number two. Not Ivana, not number one. Not Brittany, not number three. Not Chris, not number four. Thane number two the actual blood child, along with theme number one, Ivana, to their mother and father, Christopher and Angela. See, Courtney, this is the part of the story that your ass was too blind to see because you were a bit too impulsive. You are too much. You're doing too much. You're a lot. You're a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. A lot of nothing is what you tried to make me out to be. A lot of nothing while I was shitting in the bathroom, while I was throwing up in my closet, while you defamed me, while you sexually exploited me, while you created fake pages about me. While you weaved a story about me that you made everybody attached to you from this moment on take on your death curse. You created that, you did it. How does it feel to be gaslit? When it's not even gaslighting, it's true. I remember the bitch would always tell me, you're gaslighting me, you're gaslighting me. And I'd be like, what? How many years did it take you to get everybody to believe your bullshit about me? All that time spent fucking around on my name is the same energy I'm using today to curse you. See, I'm not a bitch. When I do things, I do it fucking well. So well <laughs> that I don't have to destiny swap with someone to do it. Now, I'm not going to stop this video till I've said everything that I want to say. You hurt me. That's why I'm angry. And rightfully so. You hurt me up until this moment. For no reason. Giving me all the reason to hurt you. 
and every single person that you turned against me. I don't give a fuck who it is. Jojo, Quinn, Lizzie, Gabby, Minji, Brad, Faith. Hey, Faith, what's up? I'm sorry that I got involved in her shit. I didn't know she was a bitch like she was describing about Sanaz and Jimmy and all the guys. I'm not a liar. One thing anybody can say is that I'm not a liar. <laughs> While you're sitting over there with your mother, Angela, talking the most shit, lying all day, thinking that no one's going to say anything. You think I'm going to let you touch my doorknob, go in the bathroom and do glamour magic? Not even glamour magic, black magic. You think I'm going to let you keep doing that without letting people know what you're fucking doing? <sighs> Shame on you, stupid bitch. You fucking cunt. Call a lawyer. Call the police. Send me to a mental hospital again. Come fight me. I know you told everybody that two years ago I said I hate you. I fucking stand on that shit. I would stomp my foot on the ground to emphasize, but I'm too pretty for that. Come knock on this door and fight me. I'm ready to pull your hair out. Let's go. You think I'm too nice to stand up for what's right for me. You've got it wrong. You set the stage perfectly for this video. Perfectly. In the attempts to make me a spectacle, you made yourself boo foo the clown, you fucking bozo. Now I could say some other things on this camera. Like all the rumors you spread about me cutting myself, me hurting myself, me mutilating myself. Well, I'm going to throw that back on you because I have facts and I have proof. Unlike you, I don't laugh at that. But anyone who forces me to talk, I'll talk. And not only will I air out your dirty laundry, I'll let everybody know how mentally ill you are. You are insane. So insane that no one's going to stop you because no one wants to. No one's going to help you either. Especially not me. Have fun reliving your glory days of bullying bitches at St. Helens and IWA and NYU. Have fun in your closet stabbing voodoo dolls of all the bitches and niggas that you're jealous of. Have fun dying, bitch. Mwah.